Here we go with Rick. I think Jamaica is the most beautiful I've ever been to. Out of all of them? Out of all of them. It's got everything. It's got mountains. We are in the mountains in West Berlin. It's got beaches. It's got beautiful seas. And they speak English. About running an Airbnb. Everybody thinks they can do it. And everybody thinks they can, you know, want to lay by the beach and have this view. A little coffee. It's a pretty day out. Very pretty day. Some people were supposed to come to redo the terrazzo today. Uh, the company that I've been working with. The, um, disappeared, um, asked for more money, they can't tell me what time they're coming. Uh, that's just a typical island business, typical, you know, it's hard to do business down here. You're dealing with, you know, unreliable communication. And... Miss Sam, where you there? You're supposed to come from morning, you know. I'm on my way. All right. Everything good? Me? Yeah, yeah, what time you I think you are reach? Huh? What time you I think you are reach? Can 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 you hear me? Miss Sam. Yeah. What time you think you are reach? I have no idea. I'm from 12 o'clock. From 12 o'clock? It's definitely hard to get things done here. Uh, it's challenging, you know, Miss Sam was supposed to come from eight, nine o'clock, and uh, now my whole day is kind of pushed back, but you have to just go with the flow. At least, hey, at least you're looking at the ocean. Uh, gotta get ready for a guest coming uh, into December. So, uh, I hit the road and let's see where it takes us today. Yeah, we on the front line so we'll try to link up with Miss Sam in a bit. As we know, the teachers, the police, the firemen, there are some people, the medical workers. Tell you the one thing we're driving here. You know, they, they, they have to really got to watch the potholes. Not those are like Where we are, and um, with me at the moment watch is um, the principal. Uh, the drive in here is definitely a challenge. It took me a while to learn how to drive here. Uh, you gotta be defensive. Everywhere in Jamaica, you have to wear a mask. Uh, one of the things also, you always have to sanitize everywhere you go. I just came to get one thing, but I have to get sponges. When you're doing this type of operation, one of the things, things there's always come up missing when you're doing an Airbnb. I don't know, glasses, uh, you know, soap. I have to buy a lot of stuff. Things just consistently, I don't know where they go, you know, but I've bought about three mops in the last year. Uh, pine saw. Uh, you're consistently buying things, so if you're interested in, you know, doing an operation like this, you always have to buy something. That's something that I cannot, you're always buying supplies. I'm out of stairs. I'm not breathing because I'm out of breath. I'm just breathing to just... Miss Sam, where are you uh, Nobody is here. This is just one of the tough parts of uh, running business in Jamaica, man. People just don't come on time. Miss Sam, what time were you supposed to come? Here she is right here on the, you can see it on 
the lock. Miss Sam, Hello. where are you there? Here I am. Uh, finally, I had to crack open a, a beer right here while I was waiting on you. Ah, hey. uh, how you been? So that's the one thing with Jamaica you have to realize. Miss Sam was supposed to come from. What time are you supposed to go? What time? What time? It's three o'clock. No. Miss Sam just a reach, right? Uh, give me a hug. You do it. It's all right, though. You know that that's the thing in Jamaica. Things in Jamaica do not go as planned, and you cannot be upset uh, if you're doing that? business here. I'm so in from far. So here we are at Villa Gilgal, using my GoPro. Gonna get ready to jump off here. Let's check it out. That's your dream and that's your vision, go for it. You know, this is what, what a dream of mine. So because it was a dream of mine, although it was challenging, you know, I continue pushing. You know, when you have a dream sometimes, you don't want to give up halfway. You know, there was times that, you know, I was wondering if the reward was worth it. But the end product, as you can see, you know, and then able to be in the States and say, hey, I just need a mental break and able to have somewhere to come back to. It's, it's priceless. They're, they're, you can't put money on that. And especially getting the right property, you know, that's, that's a, not a priceless situation. One of the things that I didn't realize is like being on the ocean and the way the salt eat up everything. We're in a normal house, maybe everything will, you know, 10 years. Here, it's, I, I would say at least two years. Uh, every two to three years, I'm changing something. You know, whether the fridge stop working, whether the light bulb stop working, whether the wood go rotten, whether what we call termites here is chichi, whether they eating on the wood, you know, and so you're dealing with the elements of rain, you're dealing with the elements of salt. Um, 25 to 30 percent of your income go, go to maintenance. And I would I would even say 35 percent. 35 percent is is is, is a real. We have blocks, otherwise known as blacker. He's over here cooking it up, cooking some food, uh, getting ready for a guest. Uh, just gotta ask him a few questions, talk to him a little bit about you know, what he does, how important, you know. How important is it that they get, you know, an authentic Jamaican dish when they arrive? Yeah. How important is it that they get an authentic Jamaican dish when they arrive? Oh yeah, that's how we cook up for the, the guests when they come, right, you know? Anything they want, we cook it right when they come. Right. Some love jerk, um, curry chicken, with white rice. Some, some, some guests love that. Fiona, where's Junior? We still waiting on Junior to come for this meeting. You really want to have someone there, either security or at least a property manager, to make sure everything runs smoother and your stuff go missing. I don't know where they go, you know, but I've bought about three mops in the last year. Even this operation, a lot of stuff go missing. Yeah, the from, from the iron missing, from the... <laughs> so finishing up today at a... right here you see these guys that are behind me we're getting the terrazzo floor that we have in here it's an old time thing uh, getting it restored it took a long time to get this to happen there's very few people but one of the things that's happening now if you have something old you want to restore it 
a lot of people are just gonna throw grout and some new tile over it, but that's not what you wanna do. If you have beautiful floors like this terrazzo, this is something that you wanna make sure that you keep. It's expensive, but you want that classic look. That's what everybody's bringing back now. Um, and, and that's something a guest is gonna wanna see, that you're able to maintain a, a great classic look to a place and give it a charm. Looks great. Looks great. So glad we have power today. And no JPS power cut, so I'm happy. No power cut, right? You can't work without power, right? You know? You, you need power. This machine, you know, it cut and polished the tile. The white stuff you see there, I use not just pure water, I use water. Cut the tile, the white stuff you see is off the tile. When you clean the tile, the white stuff come up. So you just not just water, no chemical. Just water alone I use, so the white stuff is, is off the tile. So I don't use no chemical at all. Then after, I use the marble polishing powder and give it the sheen. So you get a natural sheen. Wow. Looks like marble. It is just beautiful. They did a great job finishing up. Looks amazing. You can actually see the grout lines. Great job. Right now it's figuring out the exchange rate and how to pay. This is a cash economy. I can't tell you how many times I've gone places every day. What do they say? We want cash. We want cash. We want cash. My, my wallet, you look at my wallet, there's no cash left. By the time everybody get, get cash, there's, there's not even one. We're coming around though. We're coming around too. <laughs> We're coming so, around to being paperless. Yeah, it's yeah. We're getting there. Yeah, say, 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 they're getting there. We're no. getting there. We're coming around to being paperless, cashless, and, you know, just electronics. Yeah, so I, I, I think that's an important point that it's cash, cash, cash. And if you don't have cash, don't get on the plane. Some, you know, just fresh vegetables, bananas. Grab some plants. Grab some plants.